All right, everybody, welcome back to LunarCon. We are here with the next event, which is the Q&A with Alphanod and Alisay's voice actors, Colin Ryan and Bethan Walker. So let me go ahead and show you guys the screen of what's going on here. And we are currently at the event hall. It is packed with people. I know it's just me and Crystal on the screen right now. Our characters, you know, me looking like Alphanod, but as a bunny boy, dark skin, <laughs> handsome. And Crystal's looking over there so cute as Alisay, but... There's a lot of people here. There's some people up there on the, I think they're called the rafters. You know, the, the little things above where everybody's like standing. And people on both sides for Alice and uh, Alphanod. And the crowd is out here. Everyone is uh, excited to see the voice actors. And we brought them out here. They're currently in the call. And we can actually go ahead and introduce them in a second. But Chris, do you have anything to say before we start getting into it? Uh, sorry. I'm uh, I'm really nervous, but we are so happy to have uh, Bethan and Colin here. <laughs> yes. So with that said, let's go ahead and transition over to the next screen we have bethan walker and colin ryan hey guys welcome in hey thank you Hello. for having us hi guys let's Hello. start with lovely to be here yes yes thank you guys we are so appreciative to have you guys here and thank you guys so much let's start with uh bethan how are you doing today i'm doing really good i'm really really excited to be here Aww. how are you guys scared <laughs> a little bit nervous but <laughs> okay, we'll see how this doing goes great. Doing great, though. can i let you in can I let you in on a secret? Actors sure, sure. get scared too. Like oh. me. <laughs> oh, it's no. human. It's human, right? I know. We're just, yeah, we do get really jittery. But I'm really, really pleased to be here. And we've just oh. been learning, learning more about Lunacon. And, and it sounds like it's been a very, very exciting day and a bit so far. So we're thrilled to be here. Thank you yes. for having us. No, oh, thank you. And now for Colin, how are you feeling? How are you doing today? Are you scared as well? Oh. or? Um, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm just in a constant state of nervousness. So, <laughs> so we're all in good company, aren't we? Um, yeah, so happy to be here, and I'm beaming to you from my um, <laughs> from my flat in Birmingham. It's UK. very beautiful. It's, it's very a very nice. cute background. I actually like your whole entire flat setup. It looks really adorable. Yeah, oh, I'm jealous. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now, did you like handcraft all those shelves yourselves, or what's oh, going on yeah. there? Oh, you yeah. did. What? Wow, so talented. Interior designer. Um, well, yeah, I did. I did the tiling myself as well. Wow. Did you? Oh my gosh. <laughs> that's impressive. I painted this wall. That's, <laughs> wow, that's such a great wall. I painted Good this wall. Job. It's really blue myself over great. here. <laughs> I really thought about my background, guys. Can you tell? It looks so great. Thing when you have like stuff going on behind you, like exciting stuff. The background? Oh, yeah. <laughs> if yeah, only. People can Photoshop things in now, can't they? I know. Yeah, yeah. I think though. Yeah, that's going to affect. Sure. Yeah, that's an effect in there somewhere. But we still <laughs> like the white background. Don't worry. We love it a lot. And we white are all you. excited it's out wonderful. here. Yeah. So, with that said, um, everybody in the crowd who's watching in the chat, who's watching the game, I hope you guys are super excited to see the voice actors. This is not, like, staged. They're actually here right now, and we'll be asking them questions that you guys have not asked. Not pre-recorded. Not pre-recorded either. Nope. Like, this is happening right now. So, we have <laughs> <laughs> compiled all the questions that some people have asked, and we will present it all here in this Q&A session. So, uh, are you guys ready to get into the questions? you guys want to ask go. us about Lunacon or anything? <laughs> oh, you want to get right into it? Okay, all right, let's go for it then. Um, Crystal, is there a certain format you want to start doing this question style in, or...? I could open up the first question if you like. All right, sure, whenever you're ready. Okay. All righty, so uh, I will also just say that we got some of these questions from uh, our Discord channel that we have for LunarCon. So we asked the community. So a lot of these questions are like a little bit modified or come straight from the community. So it's really cool that the, like, everybody had a voice and a say in this in this presentation today. Uh, so the first one comes from Kojin Atojin in Discord. He asks, what served as inspirations for you both to get into voice acting overall? And did you both have VA work planned out for your careers or did circumstances lead you towards another path? Mm -hmm. Good question. Um, I came out of drama school a million years ago when I was very, very young. And um, <laughs> my first ever job was a, ra was a, a radio contract doing uh, with the BBC doing about three months, I think, of radio plays. And it was my first sort of um, insight into the voice world, really, as a professional actor. And we were given scripts. It was amazing. Every week we were thrown a different script with multiple parts that we had to play, whether we were capable of them or not. We had to find a way to voice them. And um, it was a really steep learning curve, but it, it taught me a lot about the audio world, you know, and how much can be done through the voice and how you can tell a story through the voice. and 
my experience before that really had been theatre and only theatre. So it was a really amazing time for me. And I, I, you get to work with some really extraordinary older actors who know a lot more than you do. So I, yeah, for a couple of months, I spent um, some time learning how to be sort of malleable with my voice and how to play, you know, and that gave me a real love for it. And um, of course, gaming is a whole other thing, but I feel <laughs> yeah. like now you know, it is a whole other thing. But I feel like now even in studio now, I'm using the same techniques, you know, the same stuff that I learned about breath control and about pitch and resonance and all that stuff. So, so yeah, for me, that's where it started. And then it sort of transcended from there. What about you, Colin? Yeah, so um, kind of similar, really. Um, I went to drama school as well. Um, and we had a really good voice department um, at our drama school. Um, and we would do um, work on radio and voiceover as part of the course, which was amazing. So we had a little bit of training. Um, but then once I graduated, I um, I did a lot of, um, well, kids TV to begin with, um, and then theatre, and um, not much voiceover really. Mm -hmm. uh, I did one video game, actually, um, called The Last Story, um, and, uh, and that was from, so I got that from, well, I had to audition for it, but it was uh, with a director that I'd worked with um, oh, okay. at drama school. Um, at, which recorded at Side in the UK, and uh, from that, the the studio side, they remembered me for um, uh, when they were casting for Final Fantasy mm. fourteen. So so yeah, wow. that's how I got onto onto this. Um, yeah, and I mean, it wasn't something that I kind of uh, set my mind on because, um, like for us. Um, we we are we consider ourselves actors. Um, we don't kind of um, we're not exclusive to um, to voiceover. We do right. all sorts, and that's part of the joy of being an actor. We love right. being on stage. We love acting in front of screen. We um, and um, getting to to go into the the studio, into a booth, and and play with your voice the way that we do is is just uh, another. Um, a thing that our actors love doing. Can I say something? I just realised. Yeah. I remember thinking. I remember thinking that the video game world was unattainable as an actor. Like, it, it, oh. not, in that, really? Not, not, well, not that many people get to do it. Actually, if you look right. at the stats, right? In, mm. Do yeah. you reckon, Colin, in the UK? I just. Yeah. I, I remember thinking some dreams feel attainable and that you can work towards them and I remember thinking that's just like a one in a billion chance and obviously it would be amazing if it happened but and I th and I now have to really pinch myself and look back and think wow Aww. it's happened it's happened you know and it doesn't happen for many mm. actors so, so I mean we Colin, <laughs> we Colin and I bang on all about this all the time about how how grateful we are in terms of the impact it's had on our lives but but yeah so mine came through theatre as well I was doing a piece um I was playing Cinderella of all oh, parts. Oh, really? And, <laughs> I was. And uh, I had a blue dress. It was like, Aww. and I had a carriage. It was like, um, and yeah, and that director was phenomenal. And she brought me into Side Studios in London a couple of months later. And, and yeah, it rolled from there. But uh, yeah, it, it's just, it's a remarkable medium that we are still learning a lot right. about. Right. Yeah. yeah. Gaming is very, very niche. And I hear that a lot with a lot of actors where it starts in theater and then you find your way in some way acting around. role. I have a theater background myself, so I understand that. And like, but I always find that transition weird to hear from actors, like how they go from theater acting to like, you just focus on your voice and you have nothing, you have nothing else. So I love, I love hearing that journey with you guys. That's so cool. Mm -hmm. And I do want to note that you both kind of had a similar way of kind of getting into it. You're both into theater initially. Now, is that the only way to really get into the whole world of, let's say, voice acting, or there's multiple ways to get into the world of voice acting? Hmm, that's a tricky one. To, <laughs> that's a tricky to, one. <laughs> I mean, because I don't think there's any kind of set way to right. get into it, to be honest. Mm -hmm. um, because I, and it wasn't until um, maybe five years ago that, that I actually got a voice agent. Mm. Um, so, because I'd, I'd been writing off to voice agents for 
something like seven years <laughs> and didn't please, get any please. response. It's so hard. <laughs> it is hard. It is hard. It's competitive. It's very hard, yeah. yeah. Um, and then, yeah, finally, I yeah, managed to, to get, get with a voice agent. But, um, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't know so if... Hard, yeah. uh, there are yeah like i say that i don't know if there's like a set way to get into right. it to be honest so yeah. it's hard to kind of give any kind of advice on that yeah um and so much of it is luck as well luck mm. plays a massive part right in place it. right time yeah yeah and the right people you know yeah. and i remember <laughs> right. i remember going into the booth that day i was sort of rem we were reminiscing about it the other day weren't we about the actual audition mm. and what that was like and i remember thinking I need to dig really deep here because I don't know a lot about video games. So I had to, <laughs> I didn't, I couldn't go in with that knowledge, you know, of how mm. to play it, how to pitch it. And I remember really, I've never needed a director more than I did that day because I needed wow. him. I remember him very well and I needed him to steer me, you know, mm. and they want you to get it. When you go in the room, they want you to get the job and they, and it's their job to, to coax you through the audition to, to, Give the best performance you can possibly give but i didn't in terms of um pitching the size of the performance i just i was like are we going for truth are we going for size are we going you know i just couldn't yeah and, and i remember in the moment he was we were going over our we were talking about our audition lines the other day weren't we and yeah. and looking back on those now they're quite varied we were given sort of three or four different audition lines and and each if you look at them now they're very cleverly chosen because each line requires a different level of kind of emotion or comedy or cynicism or wit mm. or whatever and we yeah i remember thinking looking because because when i remember looking at the director as if to say you've got to tell me you've got to tell me how to pitch this because i'm because i'm a <laughs> chameleon i can do it but you've got to tell me what the level is and then i'll hit it because I, I didn't have the experience of the game to know right mm. okay yeah Got you. and and um yeah because we, we were looking back at the um at what we got for the audition mm -hmm. didn't we? and we didn't get much um so we got like a it was a a, a picture of of our character mm -hmm. and then a little kind of uh, uh we've got it we've got it oh really <laughs> okay <laughs> um, oh my gosh i didn't know that yeah and uh have you got yours beth I'm just... oh here we go <laughs> wow okay <laughs> Watch we didn't realize till the other day that we still had it. Should we still oh, have it? Oh, nice. oh, all right. Yeah. And so <laughs> literally, so Allegiance, so Alpha and Olivia, Allegiance, Science, Scions of the Seventh Dawn, Race, Elizabeth, there she is. Oh. and Wildwood. Um, description, native of Charlian, a technologically advanced nation. Um, and has a twin sister named Alizé with whom he feels he has inherited his grandsire's legacy. Though tender in years, is extremely intelligent, supremely confident, and acts like an adult. A pompous <laughs> one. Ah, that's a lot of info. That's a lot of good info. That's really good. It helps you really get into the role. So, all right. All yeah. Right. Oh, I'm really old. I need my glasses. I'm no, it's okay. Old. I feel that. Okay. <laughs> that's why I'm wearing glasses. Okay. Gender or race. And I remember, I remember reading this thinking, what's an Elizabeth? Like, I just didn't. Okay. Uh, Fair. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, fans. Sorry, fans. Okay, so <laughs> Gender or race, female Elizabeth, age 18, voice RP, received pronunciation, female, female version of Alpha No. What? <gasps> oh, that's in the... <laughs> they wrote that! Description, Louis was granddaughter, twin sister of Alpha No, extremely intelligent, thank you very much, with much knowledge of magic and history. Also acts like an adult, but not as good as not as good at it as her brother. Her <laughs> Holds the deepest respect for her grandfather and all his deeds. Um, does not doubt him like her brother. Though she once felt pressured to follow in her grandfather's footsteps, she has resolved to find her own way to protect the realm. So oh, that's what wow. we were given. And then we were given four. Did you have four lines? Four audition lines? Something like uh, that. Yeah. So, wow. So, yeah. yeah. So, wow. We realized like, we still had them. Is it like four long lines or is it kind of like a monologue? What, was, what exactly was the format for that? You can say. So they're four separate lines. Mm. And looking at them now, they I think they are the heart, the, the underlying heart of each line is slightly different. So mm. Mm. Alizé, Alizé can be very cheeky. She can be very cynical or sarcastic. She can also be very heartfelt and emotional. And so I think they, they're trying to hear you say 
different lines, right, you know, in right, different ways. Right. And one of them is a, is much more sort of battle cry stuff. I mean, what have you got, Colin? Is it similar? Yeah, I haven't got that document, but yeah, it was. I think okay. um, they want you to kind of cover all the the whole kind of range of emotions that right. a character go on, like apprehension, um, courage. You know, they, they really put you through your paces um, in the audition because they've got to make sure that you're the right person for the job and that you, right. you're able to to go to the places that the character goes to. Mm. Right. And I can say on behalf of the you know, 14 fan base, you guys delivered. You guys really played the well, low roles really well, and we are happy to have you guys here. You guys did an ex exceptional job. We love it. And oh, yeah, no problem. Couldn't no be problem. more perfect. It couldn't be more perfect. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. So I guess with that, I guess the next question that could really fit into uh, all this really well is that what personality trait would you say from your characters do you feel like you connect, connect with the most? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I Good question. Yeah, I love um I love Alphano's courage. I think he is even though he um is it might be fearful of what lies ahead. Mm. Um I think he he is so cool at confronting those fears, facing those fears. Um I love that about him. So I I kind of take inspiration from that. Um and I love how compassionate he is as well. He kind yeah. of like, he feels <laughs> other people's pain and especially those who are um, hard done by in, in any way. He really, he really connects with that. And, um, and yeah, he just has a whole lot of heart, which I think is beautiful. Mm. Mm. I That's agree. Good. I agree. Um... She, Alice is quite different to me. She has a, <laughs> she is, she really is. She, she is also quite compassionate. She has, certainly has her moments. I think um, there's a, do you know, the, the direction I get most in the studio is, um, is can you be a little bit more wry? Like I get that a lot or a little bit oh. more sarcastic, you know. Mm. Uh, she has a, she has a, she has a cynicism and a sort of, um, she's very strong willed. She's very, very strong willed and she's not allowed, she's not afraid to, go off on her own, you know, right. and that's not something I'm brilliant at. Um, she's she's just, she's a real fighter and she's very powerful and she's quite mm. blunt and, or she can be, and um, that's not something, I'm a bit more mushy than that. Um, oh. So I, yeah, she's, she's <laughs> but she can, be very, she can be very emotional and actually those are the lines that I, some lines I have to really act, you know, I have to dig quite deep and think, okay, this isn't me, this is her, How how is she gonna say this? Um, but some come, some come a lot easier, but yes, her, her, I guess her emotion and her compassion, you know, some of, some of the lines that I've had have just flowed out. And I think you do, you do get that as an actor sometimes, don't you? If it connects with you so deeply, it doesn't feel like acting. It feels, it feels very real. Like it just pours out of you when you, when you begin to understand the character. But yeah, she's certainly feistier than I am. There's no question about that. Oh, okay. Got you. Great, great answers. Thank you so much. Those are really great. And now I didn't. Yeah. I did want to say that you know um, earlier we talked about snowboard, snowboarding, and skiing, and how sure. you know how brave Alpha okay. can be. Is that something you think you could take on one day, Colin, and kind of like be just like your character? <laughs> hey, that's true, actually. Because yeah, before we we kind of went live, yeah, I was mm -hmm. saying that I've never been skiing, and that I'd be quite nervous too. But actually, yeah, I, sh I should take a leaf out of Alpha No's book and there you go. <laughs> <laughs> all right we like that all right um crystal right. you have another question for the next one yeah, yeah all right i'll take it away um so when you first took on the roles for the twins how familiar were were you with the previous voice actors because you guys were replacements for the run reborn the original ones uh did this affect how you portrayed the twins going forward did you take any inspiration from that or did you even look at it at all um i didn't know anything about it Okay. <laughs> so it made it very, it, but it made it very easy. And actually, it's never been a complicated thing for me because I don't know the game. I didn't mm. certainly. I know, no, right. I know a little bit about it now. Right. But, but at the time, <laughs> it really was. You know, when I read this, you know, that's why we, we laugh about me not knowing what an Ellison was because I didn't. I didn't know what it was. Still don't. So um, <laughs> I, no, I'm joking. I'm joking. Okay. 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 Um, no, but it, it's you know it's uh, we are we are acutely aware. Of course, we are that there that there were. There was a cast before us and mm. i think did you listen to a little bit colin i remember you talking about that 
before. Mm. I, I, I really didn't know anything about it. So it was new to me. So it made it simple in studio. I was just trusting the text and trusting what I was told about her and making right. my own decisions as an actor, mm -hmm. which I guess was kept it quite simple for me. What about you, Colin? Yeah, so I, I only found out that it had been voiced by someone, well, Sam Regal, um, legendary oh. voice actor. <laughs> right. um, uh, yeah, I only found out after I got the job. And then, uh, because when you audition for it, mm -hmm. yeah, I should add that it's all very secretive. You have to sign an NDA. Um, mm -hmm. You're not allowed to tell anyone. And it's all, all under a code name. And mm -hmm. the code name um, f for this was like very secretive. It was 14. That was... That was, that was wow, that is just uh, fourteen. That's a that good mysterious. Secret. So mysterious. They really thought um, that one through, didn't they? Yeah. <laughs> they did, yeah. Would have guessed it. Yeah. And so, <laughs> yeah. After I got the job, I uh, then oh okay, I'm gonna Google this, see what. And then I found um, stuff on YouTube of, of, of Sam voicing Alpha, and I was like, oh, well, that's different. <laughs> and, yeah. and do you know what? I'm, I'm glad I didn't. I hadn't heard that before I went in mm. because I, I would have probably thought, oh, okay, I need to go in Sounding doing that. Right. Yeah. Um, which is, a, I mean, it's so different, isn't it? Because Sam's very... Sam <laughs> version is like a lot deeper than than, mm -hmm. than mine. Um, so, so yeah, uh, I think it is a relief that, that I, I didn't didn't know any of that beforehand. Right, um, right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, you guys did both a great job, and um, I think it's really interesting seeing, like, two sides of it, where it's, like, pretty much um, with Beth, then you didn't have any, you know, context, and you just kind of give it your own voice and everything. And I guess, Colin, you didn't really hear till after, is that correct? So that way, you kind you, you both kind of give your own, like, spin to it, rather than just kind of copy and just kind of, like, have a template to go off of. So, yeah, that, that's yeah. really interesting to see there. All right. And now I do want to note that, uh, Bethan, throughout all of this, you've mostly been saying a lot of stuff about how you didn't know what an Elzin was, and now that you know what it is, are you familiar with all the other races in 14 now at this point? Or are you kind of like, eh? I'm getting, <laughs> if you asked me a year ago, I'd be like, um... <laughs> I wouldn't know, I wouldn't know. And I still don't know loads. We are, we are learning, aren't okay. we? We're learning. Can I tell you why? Because yeah. when we go to conventions, we're like, <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> That's my That's a Vieira. Like, we're learning. But okay, we're you're not, learning. Like, we're learning. <laughs> I mean, I've got my L badge on still. Very much. There's lots, <laughs> like there's a whole bunch of stuff that I don't know. So don't be, don't ask me difficult questions. Fair. But, um, but oh. we're learning. And of course, we now are meeting other voice actors, like friends who are playing, playing other races. So we're, we're mm. getting our heads around it slowly. Oh, okay. And Colin, what about you? Are you familiar with a lot of 14 races and other things about the game? Or are you kind of, eh, same thing as Beth? <laughs> Same as Bethan, to be honest. I mean, <laughs> it is, uh, we are constantly learning. Mm. Yeah. Because um, this is the thing. When we're recording in the studio, um, I, actually, I don't know if if many people kind of really know what happens behind the scenes, but um, quite often we, it's, well, all the time, we, we're just in the booth on our own. So, so Bethan and I, we've never been in the booth at the same time together. Um, it, Never. It's a, oh. a, a solo oh. um, thing, and um, and also we don't see very much of the gameplay at all. We don't see um, mm -hmm. it's. We kind of we rely on the script and then the director to to kind of push us in the right direction. Um, mm -hmm. Very occasionally we do time syncs where it, where the the line has to be a certain like number of seconds and frames, and mm -hmm. that's when we see stuff. But other than that, we don't get to see all of these like fantastical um, beings. So, uh, it's, but yeah. it's so true. And people ask us, don't they? People ask us, "What do you think about this storyline or this storyline?" And so often, even really integral, what we are now told and understand, were very integral parts of the story. <laughs> we only read. We don't get sent the whole script. We we, re, we you know we get sent a page of dialogue, if that. And you don't always get the dialogue either side of you. So sometimes you're reading lines and the, the, the guys in the studio are absolutely phenomenal. They know, you know, they know we need a bit of context. So they go to great lengths, actually, Colin, don't they, sometimes to, to give us that context and help mm. us understand. But but yeah, it, it is remarkable how I, it's a very isolated process, actually. And we have to really dig deep um, as actors to find that understanding sometimes, don't we, of what we are 
what we're doing and what we're saying and what those lines mean. So we're, but it, it does get easier with time, and I, and I think it is getting easier with time. But in terms of the world and the races and all that stuff, it's, it's, it's really, it's not just in studio. It's, it's, it's the broader experience of Final Fantasy that's helping us understand that. I think. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I, like, um, when looking into, like, Final Fantasy 16 that just came out and saw how the voice actors actually, for a lot of it, got to work together at the same time in the booth. And I was like, oh, I hope that they keep going in that direction because it seems like it works out better for everybody, viewers, and, that, and you guys. I'm sure it would be a lot easier to act if you were bouncing off of each other in the booth. So maybe 14 in the future can... Possibly. Can, yeah, I would love that. can you have a word, yeah. please? That would be very nice. Yeah. It is, it is, put in a good yeah, word. We do. We get played in, don't we, Colin? We get each other's lines played in. Um, yeah, that's true. Sometimes, sometimes. Sometimes, depending on. So, if Beth has been in the studio before me, then they will play through Beth's lines, which is brilliant because then you have. Um, a bit of context, yeah. Yeah, you have mm. context, but also you have like Beth's amazing uh, performance to kind of bounce off, um, which is great. Otherwise, yeah. you're kind of, um, you're, I mean, the director's amazing, um, but they're not always actors, the directors. So, mm -hmm. um, so it can be a, a bit more difficult to kind of get that, that rapport. Um, so, uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm very envious of the 16 last <laughs> kind of things. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, I would love that. Maybe one day then we'll have to send a message to Yoshi P and we'll let him know what's going on there and everything. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, we'll do. We'll keep I don't know. asking for it for you guys. Well, I can't promise anything. We're just a small con, so we'll see how much influence we have on them over there. <laughs> All right. We can. So, with you guys trying to learn the game and everything, is there ever a chance that you may try to play 14 yourselves? As we've seen, are, are you guys familiar with Amanda Atkins, who sings a lot of the 14 music? She has recently started streaming herself playing 14. Is that something you guys are open to doing, or at least playing 14 more often and trying to get to know the game a bit more? Yeah, I mean, I, I would, I would love to. I'm, mm. I'm not a gamer, um, <laughs> but uh, I, I would really, yeah. I think it's got to the point now. I think I need to play it. Mm. All right. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, but yeah, so I am looking into kind of consoles and things and what the best option is. I think it's probably going to be some sort of lap gaming laptop. Mm -hmm. A bit pricey, but um, oh yeah. <laughs> Um, I think we I think we've talked about it. We've been asked we have been asked this before and I think we've <laughs> begun to realize what it would mean to people. Mm. You know, if we did. It sounds cheesy but I, I'm starting to think oh. actually. Oh. Well, no, but as in we are we're realizing like the experience with the fans which I'm I'm sure we'll talk about. It has been quite remarkable and I think people come to us and they talk to us about what it means to them and, and actually I'm beginning to think it really would be really nice to actually understand Aww. from the inside, understand what what it's like, not just from a performer's kind of um, actor's perspective. I think, I think, yeah, we're both feeling a bit itchy about it, aren't we? We're like, maybe it's time. I've like, been <laughs> playing these roles a long time, like a long time. So we are, we are both, we're kind of on the verge, aren't we? Yeah, you're open Play. to it. Okay. Yeah, Colin, um, go ahead. Yeah. I mean, it's quite, it's a, a time investment for sure, isn't it? Mm. I mean, oh, yes. <laughs> very much. <laughs> uh, but uh, but yeah, I think it'd be really fun, and I'd, yeah, I'd be up for streaming it as well. Yeah. Oh, okay. If you need any help, this is we're a deal, here Colin Ryan. <laughs> this is a big deal. They're gonna hold the the fans will hold you to this now, so they're gonna yeah, remember this in true. chat. I'll, 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 I'll need their help. I'll You'll need, need their help. Yeah. We can right. help you out if you need. Okay. <laughs> All right, you hear that, everybody in chat? So just make sure that as soon as mm -hmm. they let you know they want to stream the game and play it, just be ready to help them out. They just want that support there. Yep. Thank you, guys. Yes, the community will come together gladly. Yes. They did, actually, for Amanda. They actually came, a lot of people came out to support her, so uh, she's been mm -hmm. having a blast from what I've seen. And she's not really much of a gamer either. I've seen her play. I'm kidding. No, but, like, she's great. And uh, we love her. And I'm glad she's enjoying the game. <laughs> No, it's can okay. I ask that? Is that yeah. a thing? Is that a thing where you can be a good gamer or not such a good gamer? Is that so, a thing? So, um, with fourteen, there's actually a lot of very friendly beginner things. Like it's not, yeah. at, not not hard to get into at all, actually. And that's the best part about fourteen. I've had a mm -hmm. lot of friends that I've met never really game before, and they love the game and gotten so much more into it. And um, it's just something that 
is so great about 14 is that it's very beginner friendly. So you guys have almost nothing to fear. And also with 100 fans like watching you play, if you're playing, they will support you all the way. You don't have to worry about anything. Whereas wow. I think me and Crystal went in alone and we didn't have much support, but it's okay. <laughs> okay. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, very beginner friendly. So even if you are not a gamer, you will not struggle. Okay. Yeah. That's reassuring. Okay. Yeah. Good to Good know. To know. <laughs> yeah. Because we could just be rubbish otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's okay. I still play the game and I'm rubbish as well. So. Okay. Most of the FF14 community is very casual. Very welcoming so. too. So yeah. Like, you are you in good right hands. In. Mm -hmm. Okay. This All right. Good. We like this. Yeah. We like this. <laughs> <laughs> Great. All right, Crystal, next one for you. All righty. Mm -hmm. um, so you both have had your first convention experiences in the past few years, which you've like dipped into talking about a little bit at least. So you've got to meet the community more and more, especially recently. Uh, you've been to like uh, two KupoCons now recently. Uh, you went to Otakon. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I can't remember the first one where you guys met. But uh, but what has it been like to go to these conventions and meet the community recently? And you've touched on it a little bit, but has it changed the impact that you portray and think of your characters? Mm. I mean, it's it's been extraordinary. Um, yeah, so our first one was uh, CooperCon in London. That's mm -hmm. where Beth and I first met. Oh, okay. So um, you guys went back. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, so... get really giddy. I get really giddy when we talk about this. I like, I like to get all excited. Oh, Kupo Khan's wonderful. It was really, like, it was really momentous for us, oh. wasn't it? Because oh. we've been playing these parts forever, haven't we? And it's what well, it feels like it anyway. I feel very old. But, but it was really special, wasn't it? It really was. And um and it, it's amazing. It didn't... Uh, when we met, it was as though we knew each other already. Oh. Uh, because we'd heard each other's voices um for for years before that hadn't we yeah <laughs> it was so strange it it three years. <laughs> yeah and, until that point and um uh so yeah and and getting to go to these conventions like in different countries we went to coopercon in montreal as well and um otakon in washington dc um and it's it's been incredible meeting uh, the fans and hearing firsthand what the game means means to these people um, and it's the most touching and moving and kind of humbling thing really isn't it um, I, I feel very lucky and fortunate to, oh. to be able to, mm. to experience that and to be able to do it with, with you as well Beth it's, uh, it's yeah. been awesome oh. it is it is we really we're very blessed in that our the nature of playing twins is very helpful because you have a comrade by your side. <laughs> um, I haven't traveled internationally loads for acting. I have a little bit, but not a lot. So actually going abroad is a really extraordinary thing. But the thing that's interesting is I, what I'm finding wherever we are, the family is the family, you know, like Final Fantasy family is, is like with like a breed of people. It's a very beautiful thing. <laughs> it's a very beautiful thing. And meeting people who come to us and say when with their prints and they say oh, you know forgive me i'm a bit nervous and we keep saying to people please understand we feel the same like we said right at the beginning of the street <laughs> yeah. like Aww. really genuinely really genuinely i know that i know of course there are people that may not feel like that but a lot of the people that we meet feel that because they've invested so much of their lives and their money and their time into this that they are really deeply emotionally invested in this and of course it's it's been and I don't use this phrase lightly, it has been life changing for oh. Colin and I. Mm. And I, we don't, you never know as an actor how long you will be an actor for. It's such a changeable, movable job and, and you never know how long things are going to last. So for us to play roles that have lasted as long as this it, it is, is extraordinary, you know, in the first instance, but then to then be taken abroad and to meet people, um, face to face, the people that actually play the game. And you know, we've met people who've named their pets, Alizé and Alphano, they've <laughs> yeah. because of this yeah. game, they've had babies and called their babies Alizé or Alphano. I mean, it's really genuinely extraordinary. And I think we're, we're both, I, I, I don't know, one day maybe we'll just take this with a pinch of salt, but at the moment we're just like, wow. It's, it's really overwhelming. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing to be part of. Oh. Would you say that uh, people naming their uh, ca uh, their babies after your guys' characters is the most shocking and like most surprising thing ever, or like <laughs> have you had any other like interesting interactions with fans as well? 
I mean, well, do you remember the tattoo the other day? Do you yeah, I was just tattoo. Say, oh, yeah. wow. Yeah, the, the a, an amazing tattoo on on someone's leg of, of the twins, which was <laughs> it was beautiful. Wow. It was really it was amazing. beautiful. Uh, exactly. That's like mind blowing. Um, yeah, yeah. Loads of cats as well. Loads, Loads. of cats. <laughs> <laughs> Specifically cats. Specifically cats. <laughs> it's interesting. I can um, see Elsie being yeah, a cat, yeah. It's just people, you know, and art, the artwork is just like insane. People come up to us and they're like, oh, hey, like I made this for you. I don't know if you want oh. it. Like, oh. we do want it. Look at it. Yeah. And you it. Genuinely, like, I'm, I'm ne- like, through that wall is my child's bedroom and it's full of beautiful things that have been made oh. that I've kept. And yeah. every time we come to the pond, we're like, here they are. Oh, yeah. yeah. Calling right out there. some shown. Oh, I mean, oh, it's it- the um the community are so talented and yeah. the, and the talented and also what we found is that there is a thread of kindness through everyone mm-hmm. um which is such a an amazing thing no matter which country we're in kind of doing these conventions um yeah, the, the community are just so kind and mm. yeah supportive of each of each other um and then bestow us with these like beautiful handmade gifts i mean oh. it's very it's it's a lot it's it, 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 it yeah. blows our mind every time um mm-hmm. yeah very heartwarming people, feeling yeah, people heartwarming. that run these cons like even talking to you guys a few minutes before we started you hear you know this isn't just a job to you guys you know this is like what we're beginning to learn is that the people that put them you know, life's work into these things are doing it because they love the game and they love mm. the process, and they love the people, and and they sacrifice huge amounts of time and energy and money because they love the community and they build. You know, like you guys have, you built this community over these few years. We were just hearing about it, um, guys, before the stream, and it, you know, it's it's just it's a it's a really really special thing. There's not many yeah. parts of the acting industry that we get to see where that happens. There's lots of big amazing big budget things and all this stuff and lots of incredible screen work and all this stuff but actually i do i do think the gaming community is very unique i haven't mm. really thought about this until just now i do <laughs> think it's really, i do i do think it's very very unique in that it the the heart within it is 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 huge mm. and it's a very real thing and i think it's a it's something that i suspect when you when you're a gamer you're a gamer you know I, i'm beginning <laughs> yeah. to learn that I think you're a gamer for life and and we can see that in people when they come to us, you know. Mm-hmm. It's really special. Aww. Yeah, and and there there is also a feeling of just ultimate acceptance as well, which is I think is amazing because you you get people of all different um, uh, backgrounds, sexualities, genders, um, um, abilities, you know, and. And everyone is is just very supportive and accepting, um, and uh, and and it's amazing because at the conventions you see like so many people helping other people out. It's yeah. just a, it seems like a, a very natural thing, and everyone's like dressed in the most amazing cosplay, oh. and and I, I just love how kind of empowered people feel um, at these events, being amongst. Um, so many like-minded people. It's, yeah. Uh, yeah. It, it's a pretty amazing um, environment to, to be in, isn't it? Oh, yeah. I think it is. I think you're so right. And I think there's a lot of people who may not know their place in the world elsewhere. Mm-hmm. And yet with mm-hmm. conventions or with gaming, they find it. And they find it through their characters or their warrior of light or whoever it may be. They they find who they who they want to be and I think that's you know it's a it's a beautiful thing but what, what we're learning is that people are processing a lot of their stuff through gaming and mm. I think that yeah. I didn't know when I first stepped into that booth I had no idea that that's what we were going to become a part of mm-hmm. but yeah so, it, it's amazing that's very surreal yeah, it's crazy and was there a certain moment in your career as you know playing in these roles for 14 that you finally kind of felt like wow like we're actually doing something bigger than just voicing for a game like do you guys know when that certain point was where you finally realized that we are touching so many lives of people out there with our roles in these uh in our performances in these roles mm. that i mean it was going to the first convention mm. for me because up, up till that yeah. point I, I would get messages on social media 
Um, but it wasn't until I until I met people in person right. and hearing firsthand about just how invested they were in in the game that I was like, oh, okay, wow, this isn't um, this isn't just a game. This yeah. is so much more than that, and it really touches people's lives. And um, and considering how long the game has been going on for, yeah, um, people have grown up with the game. They've grown up with our characters, um, and have come of age with with these characters. Have found the loves of their lives <laughs> with these <laughs> characters and yeah. have families because of this game mm. so it is um and so yeah it was a kind of a pretty sudden realization that we were a part of something uh bigger than just a game right right mm -hmm. and i think it you know you can't help but take that into studio with you and i think I know there's actors that don't do cons. You know, we hadn't done them before we were invited to one. And then we were like, yeah, sure, that'll be nice. Thinking it would be a nice day out, you know, mm -hmm, and a mm -hmm. day away from, from normal life. And that'll be lovely. But but it just hit us like, you know, a train, didn't it? We had no idea, no idea. And we, we're so privileged now because we get to see other VAs coming and having oh. that experience for the first time. And we get to watch them <laughs> meet people and do stuff like this. And, it, and it's just so, and I know because we're not, we don't we can't see people right now we can just see you guys but i know the minute we finish this people will be going hey just saw you guys and that was amazing and we'll get to hear what it's meant to them and mm -hmm. it's just it's it's a very beautiful thing and it, and it is beginning i think to feed into what we do in studio it's beginning to it, we're both kind of elevating would you agree elevating what we're doing because we know it what it means to people right absolutely yeah and 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 since meeting uh, the community, um, that yeah, I, I definitely take that into the studio, and that has totally informed um, my performance in the booth. As um, has as is knowing Beth as as well now, um, because be before that. Um, yeah, I, was, I suppose I was kind of like acting the sibling. <laughs> um, yeah, no, yeah. But, but now that yeah, we know yeah. each other and we have this friendship, mm. we um, that totally informs um, what what I do in the booth. Mm. Same. Oh. It's interesting, isn't it? It is interesting, though. It's just yeah. interesting. It's great. Yeah. It is very appreciated to hear the amount of passion you have, but not just for your jobs and what you do, but for the community yeah. since then. Like right. to see it reflected is very very much appreciated and everybody that is uh, watching here can see that too and is commenting on mm -hmm. it so uh thank Thanks. you guys for just being who you are and just very passionate because it's been great seeing you guys travel to, to conventions Honest, yeah. get to meet the fans like on our end it's a pleasure too so very life-changing all around so yeah <laughs> and i hope <laughs> you guys you are ready passion. I hope you guys are ready because uh, Yoshi P himself says it's gonna be like what ten more years of this, so you guys are yeah. gonna be <laughs> You're in around here for, 10 for more years? yeah ten more years or so as Alpha <laughs> Nana will say. I'm gonna yeah. be really old by then. Old <laughs> no. Oh no, I'm gonna be so old. <laughs> I'm gonna be like Granny Alice. No. Like... <laughs> <laughs> All it's right. just like that blows my mind. I'm like, how? Mm -hmm. I mean, I can picture it, but it's. Mm -hmm. It's a, lot. it's a long it's a time. Long oh, it's a long time. Yeah, I, I actually started playing this. Oh, go sorry. on, go on. <laughs> I said I was gonna say like I started playing this game back in 2020, and it's already been like three years since then. And like time just flies, and it's just crazy to think how much more plans they have for this game and what's going to happen forward. It's like wow, time will just fly by, and we'll be all older or something. <laughs> I don't know. Ten years older. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I think about this when we went into studio that day. You know, you just think if someone said, by the way. You'll, you you could potentially be playing this for 10, 15, 18 years. <laughs> yeah. Imagine. It just would have been, I mean, right. it's, it's sort of mind blowing now because we're half, you know, we're kind of through it. We're working on it. And, mm -hmm. but we know, you know, it's so hand to mouth what we get told. You know, we don't, people think we have all these secrets, you know, and we, and we are, <laughs> we're pretty live on it, you know, we're pretty mm -hmm. live on it. And yeah, we're, we're NDA'd to the max. We can't say Aww. anything. But, but we really are. That's sorry. But it, 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 it's just, yeah, we're, we're living it with everyone else, aren't we? Mm hmm. 100%. And, uh, mm -hmm. go ahead. Yeah, no, I just total agreement. It's, um, yeah, I mean, to reflect on 
on it. I mean, well, the 10th anniversary this year, isn't it? And mm -hmm. uh, right. I mean, when I first auditioned for it, I just had no idea. I mean, it's such a unique thing. I, mm -hmm. I don't know kind of many other actors who have um, have had the fortune of having this journey of being with a character for this long mm. um, on a video game. So, mm. so yeah, it's you do have to kind of like take take stock um, at certain moments, don't you? And kind of really, yeah, think about where you started and and what's what's become of of, of this. Right, mm. right. Yeah. Speaking there of, a, a, yeah. Sort of like, sorry, there's a sort of safety in the booth now because when we sometimes. When you go in and if you're recording something that you know is a could be quite a short job or it's just even a couple of lines you go in and you're just so adrenaline fueled and trying to smash it and trying not to be rubbish and and then you leave and then it's done and it's out there and but with this it's this beautiful process where we know we can work on it we can get better as we go and i'm noticing the writing is i mean the writing's really phenomenal it always has been but i, I feel like it's it's hotting up you know it's really <laughs> hotting up we can the more, and sometimes I think, I wonder if it, it actually this process is more live than we think. Like the more we push mm -hmm. into it, the more it's pushed into with us. And right. the writers are kind of working with us, I feel. It, it's just, it's really exciting. And being able to play, like play with a character and develop it and grow with them, it, that you don't get that very mm. often in the acting industry. So it, we're really lucky, we really are. Oh. We're glad to have you guys with us because you guys, throughout all the expansions, seeing every character, like, you know, have their character developments and become, you know, you know, Alice went from being super hot-headed to, like, a little bit more, well, she's still kind of hot-headed, but, you know, she's trying to be more, like, level-headed about things, and, like, it's just great seeing that, like, progression of you guys slowly putting these characters to, uh, basically evolve and then, like, uh, becoming much more mature as they go along, and... Like I said, we have so many more things uh, coming up that Yoshi P said, and it's just, where will he take us with everything? And I'm really so excited to see how you guys are going to perform with all those roles. And I know you guys can't talk about it, which sucks, but we are dying <laughs> to see what's going to happen next in the next expansion, Dawn Trail. So, yeah, how have to, that's all I have to say about that. Um, Crystal, you were trying to say something this whole time. Sorry. <laughs> oh, no, I was just yeah. saying while we were talking about the community, um, one of the latest things you guys did with the community uh, was your lovely cake decorating video. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that was a joy. I'm just going to go so now. <laughs> I think time's that. No, it, it, yeah, it was chaos. It was chaos. That was really fun. So now do you guys consider yourselves expert cake decorators? I would say yeah. so. Yeah, I, I <laughs> yeah. feel like after that, you definitely are. Yeah. I think we have, we have a future career in baking, Colin. Yeah. Well, do, do you know what? Not that you would know it from from that video, but I actually really enjoy baking. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> do you know what? He's really good. You need to check thing, um, check this out. There's a history there of him doing some really quite impressive baking. It's true. I mean, you, you'll, if you go back far enough on, on Instagram, you'll, you'll find stuff. But, but really? yeah, I have all, all my baking stuff here. That's right. like, I yeah. actually do a lot. But, um, but something that you probably wouldn't have got from the video is, <laughs> is just how how intense that was because we were under a <laughs> time limit and we had yeah. people say, okay, 30 seconds, 10 seconds. So there was like a, a real kind of time limit on it. Stressful. Mm. It was it was stressful. stressful. And they told us net. Thing. It went genuinely. We weren't going, oh, what are we doing? We had no idea. What they showed us this video and they said, what is the big deal? They were like, you're going to watch this once. And I was like, okay, you know, we, we, we'll get it. It's only a cake. I mean, how hard can it be? And then they showed us this video and we were like, what did this, like, what was it? What was it? It was so stressful. And we went in team by team, didn't we? And the lads came out like covered in like green slime and we didn't know, or like flour. <laughs> You know, it's just, it was a lot, it was a lot. And we didn't know what to do. So what you see in that video is very, there was no acting involved whatsoever. It was very genuine, wasn't it? It was carnage. <laughs> wow. So like, <laughs> Beth, when you went in there, I'm sorry, Bethan, uh, when you went in there with Colin and did you know that he had baking experience prior and then you know, like you were in good hands or you kind of just like, well, we'll see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> I, can't remember. I can't remember if it made the final cut, but I remember when he walked in, he picked up the flower and like went like that, you know, like when she oh. was like, <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. okay. oh, he had the moves. <laughs> oh. It was so funny. And I did know I have like, I've stalked my twin. I know that <gasps> he has baking. Everyone's known that this <laughs> Um, but I, I do, I, I know that you've baked before, but it was like, yeah, he was very good. He was very oh, good. I, I but, mean, but, 
but when you're put in a stressful situation like that it doesn't it doesn't mm -hmm. matter how much baking experience you have I mean, <laughs> that, that was so so just goes out the window yeah it yeah. really does yeah. yeah yeah and to oh. try and keep like talking we were both just like what do we do with all this stuff? yeah <laughs> sugary stuff it was just great it was great oh, fun. it was a lot of fun yeah we had a great time <laughs> okay and so with that if you had to describe the whole entire experience in just one word what would that one word be then chaos chaos oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah chaos absolutely <laughs> oh that's well, a good word it was fun for us to watch we're so sorry you went through it but trust me the rest of the community enjoyed <laughs> it so much and we loved it so thank you for right. that <laughs> right all right, and I guess um, hmm, trying to look see what kind of questions we have left from the crowd that we want to pick out here. But Crystal's ending specific nah. that at not this much point left. we can yeah. do uh, our speed round, round questions because right. we got like okay. ten minutes left. So we'll kind of like spitball at you. You guys okay. ready? All right. Pumped up. You know, like I'm gonna like limber up. Limber All right, up. Yeah. All right. Stretched ten minutes. Out. <laughs> okay. Ten minutes. More questions. All right. Let's okay. see what we can do. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. If you could describe. Oh wait, no. We just answered that. Yeah. Uh, Amelia Luna Freya asks, "Do you both have a favorite line that you recorded? Can be more of an emotional or comedic? If you had to pick one." Um, Colin. Okay. <laughs> Cheating. So, this this has since become my favorite after watching it on YouTube. Is okay. when um is I'll just do it. Yeah. <laughs> I wish they God. told me what what that was going to look, look like. I mean, I just got directed to kind of Does, do the eh. crazy thing, and and that's that, that's what happened. Um, but I've grown to love that now. <laughs> oh, we <laughs> love it. <laughs> it was good. Uh, mine is. I've got a few. Mine is probably at the moment. Mine is probably. Um, Dawn may banish even the darkest night. How oh. bitterly beautiful those words. I love that line. I love it. So good. It's that cool. was that was a great one. Oh. Wow. It's from like ages ago. It's from yeah. a long time ago, but it, it, I I remember it as a special night. Oh. Because it's true. Yeah. Dawn may vanish even the darkest night. How bitterly beautiful those words. It's true. Okay. Well. That's beautiful. <laughs> kind of in the same vein with that, a uh, Shadrill Foxen asks, "What is your favorite moment or scene that you voiced in 14? So, is there anything specific from anything in the past that you guys remember that you liked so much?" I, I remember really enjoying the stuff in Yulemore. Is it Yulemore? Yeah, Yulemore. Um, yeah, Yulemore. Or three. Um, that the scene where, um, what does he say? He says, "Oh, I've got it written down somewhere." So I remember. <laughs> um, oh yeah, what you need is a mirror, not a painting. It will capture the horror I see before me far better than I ever could. Oh, love that. That that was. <laughs> I felt, I felt that right now. That, yeah, that was that <laughs> scared me a little bit. Well, I'm, um, I'm changing my mind. I'm changing my mind. Oh, okay, okay, all right. That's no, okay. I do actually the line. I'll, I'll just I'll talk about two really quickly. The line that oh, it's meant to be speed round. It's clearly not. Sorry. Um, so the line I was just talking about. I remember it's from Heavenswood, and I remember um, she sat she sat sort of under this beautiful starry sky and talking about Louis Soir and. Yeah, I remember it's, it's a really big bit of text. And I remember looking at it thinking, how am I going to do that? How am I going to do that? Oof. But I remember thinking at the end of it, at the end of that recording day, OK, I know who she is. Like, I know who Alizé is. And, the, and, and that's what I mean about the lines. They're so important. The writing is so important. And when they nail the writing, it really helps us nail the character because it's because it's that simple. The other stuff I really love is um, is the fighting stuff. Like I've had enough of this rabble. Come on, all that stuff. I love all that stuff because mm. it's it's so physical. It's so physical. We're like up, aren't we? And like running on the spot and shouting and using. People think it's like here that we use. It's not. It's like the whole body, Everything. you know. Oh. And you come home like exhausted sometimes, but in like the best way ever. So I love I love the physical battle cry stuff. That that really excites me as a performer. Oh, thank you, thank you for that. Yeah. All right. Who can swim for longer? Beth and or Colin? <laughs> yeah. yeah i'm an i'm genuinely an awful swimmer me oh. too <laughs> wow that works oh, no. <laughs> somehow the boy just isn't very buoyant it's true it's yeah. true i can't swim either can you not swim i can swim but i'm not great so. I'm, I'm awful i'm scared <laughs> 
<laughs> it's just like his Office character. Way too fitting. Oh no. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, well, um, so with that, even though, like, you can't swim in real life, I guess, and so can Alphanaut, is there anything that you would do to kind of relate to your character prior to recording to kind of get into your character much more? Mm, so, well, what I do is watch mm -hmm. YouTube videos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and so I'm always watching, like, scenes that, um, that I've done in the past, um, mm -hmm. Because quite often it, it's like many, many months between uh, recordings. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it is useful to, to kind of watch things back. It's amazing that we've got that, isn't it? Like you, that you, you <laughs> yeah. Know, yeah. That we can easily do that. Um, in the booth, they, they do kind of, you have to kind of do, what do they call it? Repeats? You have to, they, yeah. Yeah. Um, they play your stuff in. Through one of your lines into your cans, and then you have to repeat it back just to kind of make sure that the voice is the same. Mm. <laughs> um, right. yeah. It is weird because we sort of tra we travel up, you know, travel up on the train and then get the tube and you're just out in normal life with all these people walking around the streets and then 10 minutes later you're in a booth and you're kind of screaming your head off or doing these beautiful kind of intricate heartfelt lines and it is, you, you do have to hit it pretty quick. You know, often the lines that we do are done in one or two takes, aren't they? And sometimes you think, oh, I really want to do another one. But they're like, great, move on. And you think, wow, that's now in the game. I said it once and it's in the game. You know, it's really strange. So we do have to, you have to go in absolutely ready. Like, mm. at, there's no, there's no warm up time that, you know, t time is money in studio. So you have to, you have to, don't you? You've got, you've got to turn up really ready to perform. And, and that's something we're learning. Definitely. Yeah, and I, I would say it has got easier uh, over the years because yeah. um, I think going in as Alphano now, there is something. Even though I don't, I don't play the game, and I, I definitely don't know as much <laughs> about um, the story as the the people who play it. There is yeah. still something that is very instinctive when when I'm in the booth recording yeah. as Alphano because I've been with this character for so long so it's definitely got 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 easier mm. um, but but yeah it still does help me kind of refreshing uh, my mind um yeah watching watching videos beforehand yeah mm. okay gotcha so basically everyone who's putting out videos out there on YouTube of the gameplay and everything you're thanking them out there for doing that essentially yeah. Oh yeah, thank you guys for thank doing you. that. Thank you. Yeah, people who are like kind of streaming themselves playing the game. I'm watching. Right. I'm watching. It's great. Oh, you're oh you're watching people stream the game. You're oh watching. no, pressure. <laughs> we have done. We have done. I know. We're watching, guys. We're watching. Oh, it's oh great. guys. I mean, some of the stuff that we see and you see people's responses to it. It's you know, and that's something we're investing in now because we're beginning to, to realize like, hang on a minute, this is something that people are doing. They're spending their days, you know, they're, they're turning their careers into this. It's really extraordinary. So we, we do watch. We do watch. Aww. Oh, my gosh. Okay, a little bit, little no bit nervous now. Yeah, no pressure. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. For All the right, next. So yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Next question for you. Census Nero asks, who would win in a one on one duel? And why is it Alize? Uh <laughs> ah, in your face. Come. I mean, I, I can't uh, disagree with that. <laughs> He's, he's not even bothering. Look, he's not even bothering. <laughs> he's like, he's no, not even, no, he just gives true. up. <laughs> She's an I, I absolute admit. badass. There's no question she'd win. What do you reckon? Yeah, I, I, I agree. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to bother arguing with that. But I, yeah, love that. I love that. I love that. I win. <laughs> I win. I am. Stop. Next question. I have a question. <laughs> I have a question for then for you guys about that. So, uh, Colin, do you think you can play Alice better than Bethan can play Alphanod? Ooh, the switch or vice ve vice versa as well. So That's the, do you? That's a great yeah. question. Yeah. That's one of the best questions. that question. What was how did you get? <laughs> so if you had to play as Alice, do you think you can outdo Bethan as Alice? Oh God, question. absolutely not. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm it's just take all this praise. I'm taking all this praise. <laughs> I'm so sorry, it became bully Colin Day. We didn't mean for this to happen. <laughs> I've never even thought about that. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> well, I now we do. I've never yeah. tried. I, yeah, I couldn't do it. I do hear some of your lines and think I could never say that. So, oh. so you do. Yeah, Al Alpha knows complicated t to me. We're so used to our own characters, aren't we? It'd be quite funny if we just switched. One day, maybe we'll see if that happens. 
Thank okay. You. One other question that we have here is, uh, even though we asked this earlier about streaming, would you guys ever consider doing a live fan signing? So, like, do you have any, like, uh, things that you would sign live for people and stream oh, that? Stream the, yeah. stream Illy, if you know that. I guess you, me or them. Okay, okay, they yeah. know. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> All right. So, um, yeah, we have been um, having some chats with people at Streamly and... Uh, um, yeah, things uh, we're kind of putting things in motion. So we hope to be able to do that at some point very soon and to tell you all about it. And uh, yeah. All right. Well, and yeah, they can find all the information on Twitter where you guys are on, right? All the time and everything. Yeah. All yeah. right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you guys want to plug that real quick, you can. But yeah, <laughs> since we're wrapping up here, yeah. feel free to plug where people can find you. Okay. okay so I'm mm -hmm. at Colin Ryan on Twitter or X. Um, and uh. Colin, <laughs> Colin underscore Ryan uh, at, on Instagram. Mm, all right. I love that. I need to know these off the top of my head. Um, I'm <laughs> at B Walker J. B Walker J on uh, on X. It's not called T anymore, is it? And um, Beth and Walker actress on Insta. And we're on there, aren't we? We're on there a lot. Oh. All right. Well, there yeah, you guys I'm go. On there as much. I mean, Beth's much better at it than than I am. I'm trying. <laughs> I but love I'm it. Like, I'm like, hiya, I just had a cup of tea. What are you doing? <laughs> it's a bit sad. Sad but true. I have a lovely time. I have a lovely time. All right. But yeah, if we, do, if we have anything to announce, it will be on there. All right, guys, go follow them on those socials. That way you can keep up with your favorite voice actors because we love them so much over here. We have mm -hmm. one final question we want to ask you. Can you spoil us a line from Don Trail? Like, we really would love something. No, I'm kidding. No, we don't have to answer that question. No. <laughs> <laughs> no chance. No chance. We'll get sad. Yeah. yeah. But I just want to say thank you for you two for coming on. It's been so fun. And it's been great to finally, you know, hang out with you guys on here. And I don't know if you guys know this, but there's like at least several hundred people watching us on Twitch. And uh, there's many people in the crowd in game just here to celebrate you guys. And people just Aww. love you guys. We just want to let you guys know that. And just thank you Aww. so much for coming out. Yeah. Well, thank nice. you. It's been such a pleasure. I've had a great time. And we have. Yeah, We've thank you everyone it. for coming along. Thanks, guys. Oh. Does this work? Ooh. Oh, she's sharing her screen right now. Can okay. you see the screen? Yeah. Can you guys see that? Oh, wow. This is uh, the crowd right now. And we have yeah. our little uh, oh, Ali Zane Alphino portraits in the game behind us. Oh, my oh, God. And so this beautiful. is the crowd that we have. Hey, guys. <laughs> so this is everyone oh. who is watching the whole wow. time in the game. See your names. Wow. And Hi everyone's guys. seated back here. Hey. It, they, uh, there's so many people that they have to load in, but... We look great. Oh, that we got this little cool. Alphano in the front. It's There's so many people oh, there. Yeah. There's so many... All the Alphanos yeah. and Ali's names. That's so cute. Wow. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> oh, that's so beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, wow. Wow, wow, love it. Mm -hmm. People just really love you guys, and they are so happy you guys came out for all this. Yeah, it means so a lot you. to the community. Hi, mm -hmm. guys. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's so cool. That is so cool. You can't, I don't know if you guys can see it now, but in chat, everyone is just like, you know, giving you guys hearts, and they're just saying, we yeah. love you. And guys, oh. take a second to say uh, hi to them oh, <laughs> in the chat. Hi. Yeah, this yeah. is the. Oh, you guys. Oh. Hey, Everyone God. is, uh, they're all blowing you some hearts here. <laughs> so beautiful. It's amazing. Oh, It's extraordinary. Yeah. And there is even a larger crowd outside as well. Outside? Outside, There's an yeah. outside, yeah. I will, this is like I will the head outside venue. of the estate here. This is so above our heads. Like, we don't even know <laughs> what's going oh, on. Amazing. Wow. All within the game. So this is like the housing this? section of the game? Oh, guys, we can. I can read that. Yeah, oh, this is as big as I can Aww. make it, unfortunately. It's so beautiful, I can see it. Love you guys. Hey, we love you. We love you too. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, guys. Let's out a cheer. Oh my gosh, that's so beautiful. Wow. Yeah. It, it's taking a bit to load because there's oh, just so God. many people there's around. There's so many people <laughs> really? that this is it's gonna like lot. explode the internet. It's your fault, guys. There's too many people. <laughs> there are so many people. <laughs> Hello, twins. Oh. oh, that's so cool. Hello. Oh, we made it. Oh, there you go. Outside all these people. So there's also people oh outside. God, They're loading in. Were you so actually back cool. to the inside? This oh. is all real, by the way. They're not paid actors. They're actually people here to come celebrate yeah, you all. all <laughs> yeah. These are all people from all around the world. Wow. This is blowing my mind. Like it blows I know, my mind. there's oh. so many. 
did. It's so, so strange, but so beautiful. <laughs> very unique experience. Yeah, so very cool. unique. Got an Ali say that came to the front here. Hey, Ali. Hi, sis. <laughs> oh. Right there. Yes. Oh. There's my Hi, wife honey. Ishtola in the back. Wow. Oh, she's gorgeous, isn't she, Ishtola? She's just oh. beautiful. Yes, there's a Ishtola here. I was going oh, to add yeah, a question in there for you guys to let me get in contact yeah, with the voice actor, but I was like told not to ask that, so it's okay. Oh, <laughs> oh it's fine. Oh, look. <laughs> this is just the coolest thing, mm -hmm. honestly. Yeah. If my kids could see this now, they'd be so excited. Wow. Aww. Well, I do want to point out that this is all recorded, so that will eventually be on YouTube. So, uh, yeah, okay. you can cool. watch yeah, it back will, later. Mm -hmm. We'll share oh, it, of course, yeah. with, mm -hmm. with you. Awesome. All right. Well, with that That's said, so thank special. you for sharing. Nice. Yeah, it's very special. We're glad. We're glad you guys appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we were like yeah. nervous a little bit for all of this, so we're glad it worked oh, out. It's just yeah. beautiful. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, Crystal. It's a full on party. Yeah. That's where we need to be. Wow. <laughs> One day, if you guys play, they'll be here to welcome you guys in. <laughs> yeah. If you ever play in the game, can be here uh, as well. <laughs> oh, look at them all go. Yeah, everyone's very, very excited to see you guys. <laughs> yeah, and I really love how they have the, the blue and the red glow sticks, too. So they're really trying yeah. to keep with the theme. <laughs> yeah, they're keeping with the theme of blue and red here. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of blue and red. You can see it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, there's a lot. of. It's just her computer. <laughs> All right. Well, with that said, Crystal, thank you for sharing the yeah. screen to let them see that. Because I was you. afraid we weren't going to get a chance to do that. We appreciate that. I, felt, I figured so it was better cool. if I did it. <laughs> yeah, no, thank you. And, I got uh, you. Yeah, I guess with that said, we can wrap up this segment. So thank you so much, mm -hmm. uh, Crystal. Thank you so much for setting this up so we can finally hang out with the legendary Thanks. Bethan Walker and Colin Ryan. Thank you guys for coming out. We appreciate it. Yeah. Any final goodbyes from each of you guys? guys. Oh, yeah. we've just loved it. Thank you for having oh. us. It's just so, so special to meet you and to hear more about your side of it as well. So, yeah, we're just, we're just very privileged to be here. Thank you for having us. <laughs> Absolutely. Aww. Thank you so much. It's been such a pleasure to connect with you all and uh and yeah sending you all so much love oh <laughs> thank you colin thank you beth and have a you. good one guys have a good night thank you for coming out we appreciate it absolute pleasure speak to you soon bye guys bye <laughs> bye